Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So a great, great news for electrical students. ISRO has released the notification for scientist recruitment for electrical students as well. Few days back, they released for EC students. So a lot of queries I was receiving, sir, why there is no vacancy for electrical. So first they released the uh, notification for EC, then for electrical they would release the notification, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss how many vacancies are there, all these kind of things. So and uh, whatever that I have written here, all these points we are going to discuss, right? So first let's talk about the vacancies and uh, eligibility criteria. So vacancies are less, okay, vacancies are less. Now you would be saying, sir, this year it is less. No, every year when the vacancies come for core electrical, they come in the lesser amount only. In 2023 as well, it was 14 only, here it is 10. Okay, so vacancies are less, I admit that, but it is what it is, we cannot do anything, right? What is the application fee? So application fee, first you need to pay 750 rupees. First you need to pay 750 rupees. If you appear in the examination, then you will be refunded 500 rupees. And if you don't appear in the examination, then this 750 is gone. So basically, if you appear in the examination, that means it is costing you 250 rupees. And if you don't appear in the examination, that means it will cost you 750 rupees. And if you don't apply, then it will cost you 0 rupees, right? So this is just for the sake that like uh, students should be appearing in the examination. If you fill the form, then you should go there, right? So that's why they have given this kind of thing. And if you belong to, if you are a woman or if you belong to these categories, then everything will be refunded. There will be 0 application fee for you. So application fee is just minimum, right? It is nothing. Let's go to the next one. What is the selection procedure? So first there will be a written test and then there will be an interview. And both play the same importance. Okay, so let me explain the selection procedure. So written test would be there. It would be of two hours and there total 95 questions will be there. Two hours, 95 questions and 100 marks. 80 questions will be of technical, 15 questions will be of aptitude. 80 questions each of one mark. 80 question, each of one mark, you will be getting minus 1 by 3 as a negative mark. If you get it wrong, you will get minus 1 by 3. If you get it correct, you will get plus 1. If you don't attempt it, you will get 0. In aptitude, 15 question are there, 10 question of 1 mark, 5 question of 2 marks, right? So total 20 question and there is no negative marking. Is that process clear to you? Okay. So this is the process for the written test. Now there is some minimum marks required. Now this is not the cutoff. This is not the cutoff. This is not cutoff. These are the minimum marks required. If you get these much marks, then only you will be considered. Forget about the cutoff, forget about the vacancies, anything. If you don't score these much marks, how much marks? In the technical, you need to score 40. In the aptitude, you need to score 10. That means if you don't score 50 marks, then no matter whatever your rank is, they will not consider you for the interview. Are you able to understand this point? What I am saying? If you don't get 50 marks, they will not consider you for the interview. This is not the cutoff, this is the minimum marks required. After that, what will happen? After that, there will be interview. So how the interview is divided, that is written here. You can check it out, right? So technical uh, and then general uh, awareness, then presentation and communication skill and uh, after the comprehension and these are the, some other criteria. So interview will be of 100 marks as well. Now the final selection, the like final vacancy, the final list that will be based on written plus interview, okay? So let's just say in the written test, you got uh, 70 marks. And in the interview, you got 60 marks. So what they will do? Add it up divided by 2. What you are getting? 65. So your final marks are 65. Is that clear to you? So this is the process of a final selection. Return test 70, interview 60, divided by 2, final marks would be 65. Well and good. Okay, so this is the selection procedure. This is how they will select you for the final, for the final selection. So what I have written here, again minimum marks is there. This is again not the cutoff. We will discuss about the cutoff, but this is again not the cutoff. Final marks required is 60%. That means you need, the addition of these two should be 120. The addition of these two, 70 plus 60, it is 130, no? It is actually 130, but minimum marks required is addition of these two should be 120. So in the written test plus interview, if you are not getting 120 marks, then they will not consider you no matter whatever your rank is. They don't care about the rank. They care that written test plus interview, you need to get 120 marks. If you are not getting it, no selection. Is that clear to you? Now we will talk about the cutoff. So is this thing clear to you that this is not the cutoff? This is also not the cutoff. These are the minimum requirements that you need to fulfill. If you are not able to fulfill those requirements, then you will not be selected. Is that clear to you? Okay, let's talk about the cutoff now. So cutoff for 2023. So it is 2023 analysis for written test. So civil also I have put, electrical also I have put. So usually the question paper should be of 100 marks, right? Where 80 technical plus 20 aptitude. But 
out of these 80 questions, there would be 80 questions, right? Out of these 80 questions, 3 questions were wrong. So, what they did, they eradicated those questions. They did not give marks to all. In gate examination, they would give marks to all. But here, what they did, they eradicated these questions. So, effectively, this became 77 marks and this became 20 marks. So, now the question paper became effectively is 97 marks. Out of these 97 marks, you need to score 10 in aptitude. You need to score 10 in the aptitude part and technical part is of 77. So, 77 divided by 2, what you are getting? 38.5. So, in the technical part, you need to score 38.5. So, this is the minimum requirement. Again, it is not the cutoff. So, minimum requirement, requirement have been revised. Previously, it was 40 marks and here it was 10 marks. But because of some wrong questions, it has become 38.5 and this is 10 only. Okay. Now, out of 100, these are the marks people were getting to get selected for the interview. So, in the general category, the guy got 65.38 out of 100. The minimum requirement was 38.5 and he got 65.38. Uh, sorry, minimum requirement was 48.5. Really sorry guys. 38.5 plus 10. 48.5. Minimum requirement was 48.5. He got 65.38. Okay. And he was called for the interview. This is not the final selection. He was called for the interview. In EC, the same thing, the same cutoff was 49.5. Here, in EC, it was written 49.5. But here in the electrical, 65.38. So, you would be thinking that sir, electrical question paper became very easy. It was very easy. No. It is about the number of vacancies. In EC, the number of vacancies were 90 in 2023 and number of people called for the interview were roughly around 220, roughly around 220, I don't remember the exact data. So, here they are calling 220 people and here they are calling 76 people. So, that's why this cutoff has gone higher. The level of question paper both were easy, the level of question paper was easy only in the electrical as well, in the EC as well, but number of vacancies, this is the main issue here, this is the main criteria. So, they are calling 76 people only, that's why the cutoff is. 65.38 in the written test and this year as well I think that the cutoff should go nearly around that only. So sir how much marks should I target? Being a safe score you should target 70 marks I would say. In the examination you target 70 marks. In the technical in the aptitude part you try getting the maximum marks in the technical part also you will try getting maximum marks only. But in the aptitude part you can get 20 out of 20. In the technical you can try getting 50 marks out of 80. Question paper level will be easy we will talk about that. Okay, so this is the cutoff for written test. Now, cutoff for the final selection. So, for the general list, this was the final general list. So, this guy is 100% selected. Okay, so he got 64.82. And in EC, it was roughly around 60 marks only. So, no big gap. In EC, they selected 90 students. Out of these 95, out of these 90, here there would have been 45 students or roughly around 40 students because there are general. Uh, for general, for general, there are 50% of vacancies. So here they would have selected 45 and here they have selected 7. Still, there is not, not a huge gap from EC to electrical if I compare. Not a huge gap is there. Right? Are you able to understand this point? So, big gap is not there. Why is that so? Because I think that uh, electrical student performed poorly in the interview. It might happen that. Right? It might happen that uh, they asked something. Uh, I am not sure about the interview, what they asked. To be very honest, I never talked to any of these guys. If I get to know any of these guys, I will surely talk to them and then I will get to know what they asked in the interview. You can see like this guy, this guy was scoring 65.38 and his rank was 76. Now here the guy is having 7 rank and his marks are 64.82. That means you can see that roughly in the interview, people are scoring around 60 marks only. In the interview out of 100, they are scoring 60 marks only. But this was not the case for EC student. They were scoring pretty well in the interview. So, it might happen that they are asking more of a communication or uh, EMFT or it might happen they, they might uh, they, uh, they are asking about radar communication and all these kind of things in the interview. It might happen. I am not saying it is for sure, but who knows what really happened. If I get to know, about, uh, if I get to talk to any of these guys, then I will surely let you know. Okay. Yeah. So, you can see that 64.82 and minimum requirement is 60 marks, right? After the final selection, this is not the interview marks. After the final selection, I told you, you know, that... Uh, what they will do is that written test plus interview divided by 2. So, after this, if you are getting 64.82, then they are selecting you. Written test plus interview divided by 2, 64.82, then they are selecting you. And minimum, re require, minimum required marks are 120. So, 120 divided by 2, that means you required 60 marks. Here you are getting 64.82, then you are getting selected in general. And then OBC, you can see 
and in uh, SE you can see 51.98 and for uh, AWS there was no candidate. Now someone would be saying sir I have AWS so what if what if I am having AWS I will not be selected you will you can be selected in general if you are having AWS and you are not falling in the category of AWS then you will be selected in general no. So if you are scoring that much marks if you are scoring 65 you are safe and again I feel the same thing based on the final selection your criteria should not be interview as of now interview will take at least a year from this day from this day after at least a year you will be going for the interview that I am telling you like before June 2024 I don't think you will be going for the interview June 2024 I am saying June 2026 before June 2026 I don't think you will be going for the interview so you are having enough window for the interview your target should be the written test in the written test I would say target 70 marks interview you can take care after clearing the written test is that clear to you okay now these are the cutoff now talking about the syllabus when I saw the question paper, I saw the question paper of 2020 actually. I did not get the question paper of 2023. Okay. This was not available on the website. I saw the question paper of 2020. So, there I could see that it was gate syllabus only. Some questions were there apart from gate syllabus, but I would say more than 95%, more than 95%, more than 95% or more than 97% you can say. It was only gate syllabus, more than 90%, 97%. So, your focus should be only the gate syllabus and easy questions were there. So, paper level was gate PYQs are, were also there, a, a few gate PYQs are also repeated, like due to the same gate PYQs are repeated and uh, some questions were there, single liner as well, like you read the question and you get the answer, okay, read the question, get the answer. So, if they are saying that in two hours you need to solve 95 questions, that means one question per minute, roughly around one question per minute or you can say 1.2 minutes per question, that means they will make sure that they, will, they don't put uh, much of tougher question. If there are some tougher question, then you, you need to skip it, that's it. So, smartly they are setting up the question paper and smartly you need to attempt it. So, question paper will not be that tough. The only concern is the vacancy. Number of vacancies are only 10. That is the concern. Now, possible date of examination. So, these are the scenarios of 2019. That notification came in October and the exam date uh, Jan interview in May. Scenario in 2017 also I have written. Scenario for 2018 also I have written. Scenario of 2023 because this is the best possible scenario from where we can compare. So, in 2023, notification came in June, same goes here as well, right? Exam date, January. It was supposed to be in December, it was delayed, delayed to January and then interview in July. So, I guess we will fall in this particular category. This is what I feel, but there is no certainty. Nothing certain is there, they will release it. But as of now, what I guess is that in December, they can take the examination and in the worst case, worst case means in the earliest case, they will take it in the September, earliest, this is the earliest. And this is the, this is the, like, this is what I expect that in December they will be taking, but earliest they will not go before September. So, at least you are having the window till September. Is that clear to you? This is what we can predict. There is nothing certain. There is no certain date given from their side. Okay. So, you compare with the 2023 scenario. Now, what should be the strategy? So, again, in the last video as well, I said the same thing here also. I'm going to say the same thing only that, uh, if you pick one engineer and if you pick one job, that will get the most respect from my side. Like one engineering job that should get the most respect from my side, that would be ISRO scientist. ISRO scientist. No industry engineer, no VLSI engineer, nothing. ISRO scientist should get the most respect from my side. At least for me, he has got the most respect. But still I would say preparing only for ISRO examination is not worth it. What I am saying, again, let me repeat the statement. I am not saying anything against the organization. I am no one to talk about ISRO. Like those who are working there, they are having 50, 60, 70 times more knowledge than me. So I am no one to talk about them. I am just saying that focusing only on ISRO is not worth it because of all these kind of things. Like process will take a lot of time, no? The process will take a lot of time. You are not sure about anything, right? And number of vacancies are only 10. Only 10 vacancies are there and the process will take a lot of time. What if you get to the everything, you get to the final interview and then you are not selected, right? So, focus on gate. If you focus on gate, then gate syllabus is only there, no? Only gate syllabus is there. I told you about the syllabus, only gate syllabus is there. So, you will be able to do well in ISRO as well if you focus on gate syllabus. So, just focus on your gate preparation, right? Who knows when they will take the interview, when they will take the written test, when you will be called for the, when you will call for the job, when you will, when you will be called for the actual work. 
So the process may take a lot of time. That's why I say that you focus on your gate preparation. In between, ISRO written test is coming, go for it. In between, you are selected for the interview, go for it. You get the job, go for it. I would say, go for it. No matter in whichever the IIT you are studying, if you are getting a job in ISRO, go for it. If I had been a student, I get a job in ISRO, I would have surely gone for it. Okay. So this is what I would say to, to the students. Again, only preparing specifically for ISRO is not worth it. You can prepare for gate examination. In between, ISRO will come and you can appear for it. So that is the strategy. Again, saying that question paper level would be easy. So if you just prepare for gate, that would be more than enough preparation for ISRO examination as well. And once you clear the written test for interview, you can prepare specifically. So for that, anyhow, I will manage and will get you in touch with some guys who are who have already given the ISRO interview. Okay, so. In, I will just try to talk to any of these guys. I will get in touch with them and surely I will get you in touch with any of these guys for sure. Okay. Yeah. That's it from my side. Yeah. Thank you very much. I hope everything that I wanted to deliver here that was uh, that was clear to you. Right. And regarding this ISRO PYQ, I did not get much of the PYQs. For EC, we got all the PYQs. Like from 2013, I shared a lot of PYQs. But for electrical, I did not get much of the PYQs. I only saw the question paper of 2020. Okay. So, if anyone is having PYQs for ISRO, ISRO 2023 or, 20, or before that, then they can send me on the Telegram group. Okay. So, it will be helpful for everyone. So, you, our Telegram group name is Prep Fusion. No space is there. So, you just type Prep Fusion without any space. If you are having the PYQs, if you are having the PDF, you can send it on the Telegram group. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.